Today I'm going to teach you how to set up a style sheet to your website, which basically means that right now we have this beginning project that we created in the last video, but once we actually start putting in content into the website, we want to be able to style it so that we can actually have it look a certain way inside our website. So the way that we can create a style sheet is first of all, we're going to go up inside our folder here where we have our website and I'm going to go and create a new folder. So I'm going to say click new folder and I'm going to call this one CSS which means that all the CSS files that we have inside the website are gonna go inside this particular folder here. So inside this folder, I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure it's selected. And then I'm gonna say new file. And then I'm gonna go ahead and call this one main.css. Now you don't have to call it main.css. This is just kind of a name that I decided to give it. You can pretty much call it whatever you want to. But the main thing about style sheets is that we can actually have more than just one inside our website. So in some cases I might have one style sheet for all the overall styling of the entire website, but then I might have a particular style sheet for a particular page inside the website in case I want to do something like that. You can also, if you want to do that, just have one big style sheet that does everything inside your website. But when it comes to performance, it's just kind of like a better idea to like split it up into different files. For now, we're just gonna stick to this main.css and then maybe later on, we'll actually talk about splitting up the styling. Um, but for now, we're just gonna keep everything inside main.css. So with this style sheet created, we now have it inside a folder. So what I can do is I can go back inside my index file. But now whenever we want to have any page inside our website have the styling actually loaded into it, we do need to link to it from within that particular page. So in this case here, yeah, I have my front page, but I don't actually have a link to the style sheet. So that's very important we do, otherwise the styling is not gonna work. So what I'll do is I'll go down to the next line inside my head element, and I'm gonna go ahead and create a link tag. And something I didn't mention in the last episode is that with all these different suggestions that pop up here to autocomplete things, uh, we can go ahead and click it with our mouse. So we can select any of these, but we can also, if it highlights one of these, just click tap on the keyboard, and then it's gonna autocomplete for us, just to show that there is a keyboard shortcut to do this. So within this element, you can see that we have a couple of different attributes. This is what we call these different things inside elements. So we have an attribute here called rel, that is set equal to a style sheet, which means that this is a style sheet link that we're linking to. And then you can see we also do have a hyper reference or ref for short. And basically this is going to link to a particular style sheet that we have inside our website folder. And from this document, where do I need to go to go to my style sheet? Well, right now we need to go inside a folder called CSS, and then we need to select the one called main.css, which means that we go inside the path here and we say, I have a folder called CSS forward slash by going into that folder. And then we have our main.css. And with that, you now have a link to your CSS file so you can actually start styling your website. So with that, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video. At the end here, I'd love to say thank you to all the different patrons and YouTube members who is actually supporting the channel, as well as a special thanks to Kelly Corve, who's actually sponsoring the channel for the month. So thank you so much. Uh, the channel wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all the different members. So thank you so much and I'll see you guys next time.